in these problems, we're looking at something called conditional probability. And in those types of questions, you look at the probability of one thing given some other thing. And there's a particular formula for calculating that. Let's look at this question. It says that 27% of California adults are college graduates and 30% of California adults are regular internet users. 30% internet users? This must be an old question. Uh, it is also estimated that 21% of California adults are both college graduates and regular internet users. So we have several probabilities here. We have the probability that someone is a college graduate. I'm going to call that P of C. And that is 0.27, just converting the percent to a decimal. We also have the probability that, um, that they use the internet regularly. So we'll call that P of I. And that is 30% or 0.3. And we also have the, um, the intersection. 21% are both college graduates and regular internet users. So remember the intersection, we write like this, C intersection I, and that is 0.21. OK, so we have the basics of what we need for this problem. Uh, now the first question says, what is the probability that a California adult is an internet user given that he or she is a college graduate? So when you have a problem like that, asking the probability of something when something else is given, we write it like this. We say the probability of, well, and we want the probability of uh, being an internet user. So the probability of being an internet user given, and that's where you write this just vertical line, um, that he or she is a college graduate. So that's the probability of being an internet user if you're a college graduate. The formula for something given something else, that probability, is the probability of the intersection of the two things divided by the probability of the given. So that's the formula that we're going to use. And so we know the probability of the intersection. That's 0.21. And we know the probability of being a college graduate. That's 0.27. So we have 0.21 divided by 0.27. And that is about 0.78. So that's part A. Let's look at part B here. It says, among California adults, what is the probability that a randomly chosen internet user is a college graduate? Now, this doesn't have the word given in it, but they're saying that the person chosen is an internet user. So that's what is given and they want to know the probability of this person being a college graduate. So it's really the opposite of this one. It is now instead of P, uh, probability of I given C, it's the probability of C given I. And we'll do that in the same way. It's the probability of the intersection of the two, which is the same, 0.21, divided by the probability of the given, which in this case is being an internet user, and that is 0.3. So 0.21 divided by 0.3, and that is 0.7. Let's look at another one. This problem says, of the drivers who stop at a gas station, 89% purchase gasoline, and 6% purchase both gasoline and oil, and a total of 7% purchase oil. So we've got two things going on here. One is the probability of purchasing gasoline, and we're told that is 89%, so 0.89. And then the probability of purchasing oil, and that is 0.7%, so point, or sorry, 7%, so 0.07. So those are the probabilities of those two things. And then we have the probability of the intersection of those two things, people who purchase both gas and oil. So we'll write this. The intersection of G and O is 0.07. Six. Now the first part of the question asks, what is the probability that a driver purchases gasoline given that he or she purchases oil? So we want to know the probability of purchasing gasoline given purchasing oil. And the formula for this, remember, when something is given is the intersection of those two things. So that's 0 0.06 divided by the given, which is 0 0.07. And that is about 0.86, which is a pretty high probability. But when you, when you think about it, they're asking, uh, 
when someone purchases oil, are they also purchasing gasoline? And most people purchase gasoline when they come to the gas station, so that makes sense. Let's look at B now. It says, what is the probability that a driver purchases oil given it that he or she purchases gasoline? So again, it's the same thing, but flipped around. So the, purchase, the probability of purchasing oil given you've purchased gasoline. And again, it's the intersection of the two divided by the given. And the given here is 0.89. And that is 0 0.07 or so. So that's a little bit of work with conditional probability.